Frankie Ferrari hits the three. Tito for three. Last year was a challenging year, especially beginning of the season, and I was really excited about our progress because we seemed to get better. And by the end of the season, I thought we were a very competitive team, and having a chance to win the CBI was great. We should get a bounce from that moving forward. I think we got a good chemistry. And hopefully that's that's what you'll see, and they'll show up that, that that playing a lot of those minutes together, will, this will be a payoff. See it, Tom. Let's see it, Tom. Good, Tom. I think we're really fortunate in having the same group of guys come back to coach, and it's a commitment to the university to make sure that we can keep that group together. As we grow and get better and guys take on more responsibility and build the program, I think that continuity is really going to help us. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, our goals are, are lofty uh, and we want to keep, keep grinding and keep getting better. Part of our big picture in building the program was to um, do a good job locally. And then obviously I think San Francisco having this international footprint, very cosmopolitan city and very attractive for people all over the globe. And I think we've done that with our incoming guys. We've got Dimitri Rivni, had a really good productive tournament over in the Europeans this summer. And um, he really wants to get better. He, uh, he's, he's still skinny, but he's working, he's hard. We've got Dylan Belquist, who's a local first team all Bay Area guy. I think that's really important for the University of San Francisco is to recruit and attract some of the guys, and he's clearly one of the five best players in the senior class last year. I think that their future is bright. They both can really score. And then we also uh, brought in uh, Trey Anderson, um, who's from uh, Rainier Beach, which I think has produced the most NBA players in any high school program, current NBA players. Uh, and they're just used to winning. The guy we followed for a couple of years, he had a really strong uh, senior campaign and um, gives us some depth in the backcourt. We also have a couple other guys that are uh, transferring and Khalil Shabazz, but I think he's going to help us. We have a, a fifth year grad transfer, Nathan Krill from Wesleyan, who he's good. He helps us in practice and he's definitely could contribute in games. Yes, sir. I think we have a really uh, veteran group. A lot of guys that got the minutes when they were younger. Jimbo Lowell, I think he's really progressing. I think he's going to be an important piece for us. And Nate Renfro being a three-year captain and uh, really getting confident in his role just beyond the leadership piece. I, I gotta remind myself, like, that, let, let Nate go. He really tries to please, and like, he, he's really gonna help us this year. Frankie Ferrari, uh, really a fifth year senior, battled injuries, got an in and out of lineup, and I think really solidified himself, and I think the payoff is coming in his leadership and his, his really his swagger, his confidence. I think it's, it's, it's important to our team. Charles Minlin, even though he didn't play last year, it's his third year in the program, and, and he's, a, he's a tremendous worker, has a good relationship with his teammates. And then uh, a guy that no one likes to talk about is Jordan Rotino, and he, he leads us in minutes every year because he, he defends the toughest perimeter guy for the other team, and he's our best perimeter shooter. Matt McCarthy started, so we, I think we have nine or ten starters. Raymu, he started games for us, and Tavi started games for us, so it looks like early on for sure that we'll, we'll probably be uh, leaning on them heavily, their experiences. Our strength is that big guys have gotten older, and this happens they've gotten better. It allows us to play a little bigger and stronger and compete against some, some of the other people on our schedule. Uh, also gives us a chance to be better on the glass, too, so we play faster. But I think we'll still be the same gritty team that's going to be a tough quarter-court defensive team that uh, doesn't beat themselves. Team up there. One, two, three, yeah, two. Let's go, let's go, hustle.